here I have three images. Let's go to window, arrange three up vertical. And I'm gonna drag out the document with the texture, resize it a little bit, and go to image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. Now I will create an ellipse tool here in the center. Hold the Alt key to drag from the center. And I'm also going to duplicate it. I'm gonna get back to the first one. Double click on it and change the color some yellowish orange which is more yellow than red and I'll click OK next I'll hold the Alt key so that I resize from the center to something like this make it larger and I'll drag like this the document with the, this girl and drag her inside my document drag the layer with the girl above the two ellipse layers i'll hold the alt key and click in between the two layers so that i have this result now I'll hold Control Shift U to desaturate the image. Next I'll click and drag starting from here, the other photo with the other girl, and drag it again inside the document. Close the other two windows. And I'll zoom in a bit. Then I'll hold the Alt key and click here to create a black layer mask, which will hide this layer. Then I'll select the brush tool. And make sure to paint with white. You can swap the two colors from here. and make sure to select the layer mask of this top layer and now when you paint with white so set the color to white let's review some of this face and move it to somewhere around here one more thing that i'm gonna do is hit the c key for the crop tool i'll make to uncheck the delete crop pixels so the pixels won't be deleted and i'll expand it a bit like so And this is the size that I'm using. You can see it right here, the size and the resolution. And just click here to commit the transformation. And now I'll select my texture layer, hit Ctrl plus T and make it larger like so. Next, I'll go to Filter, uh, Blur, and choose Radio Blur. The amount is set to 10. 
the blur method make sure to set it to spin it's usually set to zoom but i've preset it and hit ok and you get this nice circular effect to the texture I will need to make my background lighter, so I'll click here and add a levels adjustment layer and drag this middle slider all the way to around here. Next, I will <coughs> select this layer. And again, go to Control Shift U to set it to black and white. And I will hit Control plus T and increase the size of the layer again. I'll select the layer mask and using the brush tool, I'll hit X to swap to paint with black this time. And using a soft brush with a hardness of, I mean, using a brush with a low hardness, maybe around 20%. Yes, this is good. I'll remove some of the background of this face at the top. And I'll hit Control plus T again and reposition it to match the direction of the forehead of this head right here. And I'll also make it a bit smaller. Until it looks something like this. Again, I'll paint with black to hide this part mm, I think it should be a little bit larger and I'll also adjust furthermore this time the black circle shape so I'll select the black ellipse hit control plus T and give it a smaller size next i'll do the same thing but this time for the yellow ellipse and further just the position of the top face here And the next thing I'm going to do is add a, a new level adjustment layer. And this time I'll increase the blacks to give some extra contrast, like so. I will select starting from the face at the top all the way to the first ellipse using the shift key and then hit control plus G to create a group of these layers and I'll move the group more towards the center like this using the move tool next I'll add a layer mask to this group and using the brush tool I'll again paint with black this time, let's see how it looks. So I'll be removing some of this. I'll reduce the opacity to around 50%. I'll paint with white to get back some of this. Make the brush larger and try again with a lower hardness. This time set to zero. And I'll be painting with black because I want it to 
I want it to look more subtle, that's why I'm doing more subtle. So I'm doing it again, and I'll select the top level layer. This time I'll create a just give me a photo filter layer, and I'll increase the density to around fifty percent, and I'll set the blending mode for this layer to overlay. Next, I will create a blank new layer at the top. Go to Edit Fill and I'll choose for the contents 50% of gray. And I'll hit OK. Then I'll go to Filter, Render, Lens Flare. And the brightness is set to 100%. And this is the 50 to 30 millimeters zoom. So I'll hit OK. And I'll change the blending mode to hard light. And we get this really cool effect going on. The next thing that I'm going to do is create a new layer. But this time below the lens flare. So I'll select the lens flare layer. Let's rename it to, I don't know, la lens flare. I'll hold the control key and click here to create a new layer below it. I'll select the brush tool, uh, sorry, the gradient tool is what I need. Make sure it's set to radial gradient, it's not reversed, and it's set to white to transparent. You can see this from basics. And my front color is set to white. So using white to transparent. I'm going to drag a radial gradient from the top using the shift key so that it goes straight down like this. Then I'll do this once more. And I'll set the, opacity, the blending mode to overlay. And I'll hit Ctrl plus J to duplicate this layer. And I'll reduce the opacity a bit a little bit to 25%. And let's see what else can we do to improve this. Um <clears throat> It looks quite good already. I'm gonna select the move to and move everything more towards the center. I'm gonna select the lens flare and drag it right above this glass right here. I need, think I need to select this first girl layer. I'll rename it to girl with glasses. And I'll hit enter and I'll hit control plus T and enlarge it and drag it a bit to the side like this. Next, select the other girl and the layer mask of this layer. I'll paint on it using black to hide a bit of this area here around the nose which I don't need and I'll, I think I'll drag the photo filter layer to the top of everything which will give us some extra contrast and I'll reduce 
Wir Basti. I don't know around 65%. I'll duplicate the girl with the glassy slayer and I'll drag it this time to the top. I'll control post click on the black circle to load it as a selection and I'll click right here to set this, this selection as a layer mask. And I'll change this layer blending mode to to uh, darker color. This is before and after gives us a bit of stronger contrast. And I think the last flare is a bit too intense, so I'll reduce it to 87% the opacity of it. Maybe also reduce the fill. I'll keep the fill at 100%. And I'll select my group layer let's rename it to um, faces and hit enter i'll select the yellow ellipse right click on it and choose blending options and i'm gonna add a drop shadow And I'll increase the opacity a little to so this is a hundred. Or I'll set it to eighty-five. So for the spread, I think it's better thirty at the distance is set at eleven pixels. And for the size. I think 139 is not bad. I'll hit OK and I'll also select this girl that's here at the top and reduce the layer opacity a bit to around 80%. I think I'll duplicate this layer and reduce this time the fill. So it gives it a little bit more contrast. I'll also select the layer mask of this layer and using the brush tool I'll paint with black with a high opacity. in this area here but in order to affect both layers I'll actually group them property add a layer mask to both of them and now paint with black and now remove some of this lower part I can actually look control plus click here on the black But in this case, I need some gradual thing going on around those two faces. So I'll double click the layer mask here to open the properties panel. Now reduce the density so that some of this face still shows here. And I'll also expand the group i'll merge the two layers together right click here and choose merge layers and i'll hit ctrl plus j to duplicate it again 
for a stronger if effect. I'll select the group and it just the rotation a little bit more. And I think this group needs less opacity. So something like this, and I also think that the yellow ellipse also needs less opacity. So that it blends a little bit more with the background. This light here is something that we don't want. I will select the lens flare, add a layer mask to it, and this time paint with the black. This top area here. And I think I'll also add a new blank layer at the top. I'll go to image, apply image and hit OK. And I'll go to filter, sharpen. And I'll choose Smart Sharpen. Give some extra details to everything. 200% maybe is too much. It's 145. I will increase the reduce noise from here. And I'll also increase the radius. And I'll hit OK. This is before and after. I'll set the blending mode of this top layer to overlay. And I'll reduce the opacity to somewhere around 50%. I think even less. So I'll set the opacity to 37. And I'll also move this middle slider, slider here at the levels adjustment that's just above the first texture layer i'll move it a bit to the right to make everything a bit darker and give it more contrast so I think this looks quite good. So this will be it for this tutorial and thank you for watching.